The following may not be appropriate for all audiences. I gotta think of a better thing to say than that. Do you think it's weird that we do the thing every episode? No, I, it's pretty standard. Do a little disclaimer. No, but like most people probably would have something canned, right, and just stick it at the front. Oh, well, yeah, that's, I guess that's true. <laughs> Anyway, thank you for joining us once again here on the Low Fact Podcast. We got a little carried away with housekeeping. Yeah, the whole podcast was housekeeping. Seems like it sometimes. I kind of wish I was the type of person that liked to exercise my demons in front of other people. You don't hang out with your demons? Well, that's the point. I, that's the problem. I do hang out with my demons, and I, I guard them jealously. And I don't want anybody How else to... How ex- did you exercise a demon? Take it out for a run, play some ping pong... Beer. Is beer really exercise, though? Am I? You carry one beer, two beer. It gets harder the more beers you drink. So it's I suppose if you're drinking those Oktoberfest beers, you ever see that? Ooh. Those beer gardens in Germany? Those are rough. Those things that look like little kegs? I like the, the wenches serving the beers. <laughs> okay. I guess there's exercise with the waitress, if she allows you to. <laughs> you mean trying to run from her giant boyfriend as he's trying to... to to hit you? Uh, yeah, that's probably, uh, yeah. Hey, running's great. It'll be like garden. European vacation. I suppose. I had a topic, well, like I said before, this is a low-fact podcast. There's uh, Millennial Andy. Yeah. Middle-aged Matt. Yeah. And uh, I'd be Dave. Unless Andy gets really excited and then he calls me Dan. Yeah. I don't, I don't know why. Do you have a buddy named Dan? <laughs> I know multiple Dan's, and I think that's why I came out. Okay. <laughs> it's like, wait, this is not any of the three Dan's that I know. <laughs> so, yeah, so I had a topic, but I kind of want to throw that away because I'm more curious about about Andy. Do it. Um, so what's the what's the millennial dating scene like for a, for a young, good-looking dude such as yourself? I don't know about the good-looking part. Yeah, I was just being nice. You're ugly as fuck. <laughs> well, you probably read my dating profile then. <laughs> you are. You're so ugly, you could be a modern art masterpiece. Fuck modern art. But, okay, not the point. <laughs> um, the dating scene? Dude, it's all about the dating apps right now. Like Tinder, Bumble, um, Match.com has an app now. eHarmony has an app. If you, if, you, if you roll that way, there's Grindr. You know, it's all through the apps, basically. But you're not you're not kind of getting out there. Oh, I'm on, I'm on Tinder and Bumble. Okay. It's um, it's not a good way to get a relationship, but it's a decent way to have sex with random women. Because when I was when we were talking to some some other, uh, well, so nothing has changed. A couple. Uh, no. uh, this was about a year ago. We were talking to some young ladies on the podcast about your age, and they were getting all kinds of dates. And I was like, Is it because you're a female? Definitely. There's it like um. When I go through my, I get like one or two match a month mm. with females. The second they turn, they t- activate their profile. There's like four or five thirsty dudes. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? <laughs> it's like immediately, I'm one of those dudes. But the point is, like, they get immediate like affirmation that yeah, people want to like people like you. Oh, at least physically, because it's all about pictures. No one reads the bio. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm not, I'm not into the apps, and it's. And so you're not interested if somebody likes cats or not? Nobody <laughs> likes cats, dude. I like cats. Like I said, nobody likes cats. I like cats. Okay. <laughs> to, to repeat myself once again. <laughs> but yeah, the dating scene is interesting. Really? You guys like cats? What the hell? <laughs> what kind of dudes are you? Cats dude, are cool, man. Cats are dope. Like, they're low maintenance. You hang out, you just sit on the couch, watch TV. The cow, cat does the same thing. Just sits there. And can sit, sit on you. Sit on you. Pet it. Dogs. Not that I don't love dogs. Just they're all needy and they all want love and attention. You know, they want to be walked. It's like, fuck that. Not my dogs, man. Then you got some good dogs, see? Those I got some dogs I like. I got some military dogs. They're just, they just kind of sit there. They look like little horses. And they're like, <laughs> little terror powder in anybody that comes by. All right, well, yeah, they're definitely better at guarding. Cats aren't the best at guarding. Well, I had a puma that was pretty good at guarding, but... Yeah, a puma. Yeah, but that, that, that fucking cat tried to try to shred me, so I had to give it away. Then there's the cat that thinks they're a dog, like cats that fetch stuff. Yeah, those are a little weird. Like, That's they're very weird. vocal. 
They like meow, meow a lot. I talk all the time. Fuck. Yeah. Start talking shit to the cat. cat my cat used stuff. to like. Uh, okay, all this talk about cats is really decreasing my testosterone as right, we speak. All right. all right, typical man. Cats are for pussies. No, no, it's not that. It's just at my age, I need all the testosterone I can get. Just because you have a cat doesn't mean you don't have testosterone, bro. I didn't say that, did I? Yes. I said talking about them is making mine go Same down. thing. No, it's not. You're making an assumption. So, right. so I can be quiet, manly, and still have a cat. Sure. All right, then. If you're no. John no. Wayne. <laughs> I mean, if you're just... <laughs> no, he's definitely calling you out on that cat thing. Dude, I like Do you cat. have a cat? I have a cat. Yeah. I, have, I have two cats. See, I always had cats, but I've never had cats here in L.A. Anyway, back to the dating thing. Yeah, so... I don't tell girls that I have cats. Really? Is is that like a deal breaker? I don't. Well, now you fucking know. (laughs) Now they know. Now they know, but I I don't open with that. I don't don't put that on my profile. I don't cats, man. Now now you're going to be the the sensitive friend. The sensitive friend? I was like that all through high school. Were you? Yeah. I was was, was was friend zone guy as well. Really? Yeah, man. Fucking friend zone, bro. Not me. Lucky you. The friends are well, I didn't get any action either. I just, you know. Oh, you just didn't care? I just didn't. I, I, wasn't, I was a friend. I didn't get any dates either. So I was just kind of. Dude, the friend zone sucks. I'd rather be that guy than the friend zone guy. I don't know. I kind of like to be the friend. <laughs> I, I, for some you, reason. If you were a friend zone guy, I wouldn't be friend zone. What do you mean? You would turn friend zone into like some kind of benefit. Like. Now you're going to have people sitting there thinking that I'm some kind of Casanova, which I'm not. Uh, I've but, seen you like chat up the ladies before, bro. Anyway, <laughs> this is how he calls you out. You call us pussies for having cats. You call them out. You're, you're actually way better at flirting than you really think you are. Sorry, bro. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, you fucking suck at flirting. <laughs> Matt, Matt hasn't mastered the put downs. <laughs> I'm not really. I don't like putting people down. It must be a cultural thing. <laughs> is that what it is? Yeah. Well, because he's down under. You know, he doesn't want to put people down. I guess. I mean, it's just, I, I just, I, I, I don't. come from the land down under. I, I'd hate to see him at a, at a, at a pickup basketball game. He's like, man, that was a great dunk. <laughs> dude, you're not on my team. Nice D, dude. Nice, nice defense. Oh, D. Wait, that's different. Solid D, bro. And then the guy be like, <laughs> I don't want anybody to know what we did last night. <laughs> But dating, yes. So, well, okay, let's go to high school. So you guys were always the friend? I was definitely the, uh, the friend zone guy. But you got you got dates, right? <laughs> no? Not really. So you, I I, didn't, my first girlfriend was in sophomore year. She dumped me like, after a week for uh, someone else immediately. Really? And then my next situation was in senior year of high school. So there was like a two-year gap where it was just me and left were, hand. Where you were reinventing yourself? No, I was still trying to do the same thing. I wasn't with no success with women. Well, see, like, I would always blow it. Like, I, there would be some, I would get with some girl, and then I would do something stupid, and then she would dump me. Like, talk about your cats? Uh, <laughs> I wish I got to that state. I didn't even fuck it up. I, I was just <laughs> uncomfortable. Like, I was uncomfortable, and I would just say the stupid thing. Oh, I've seen you uncomfortable. It, and then just blow it. Like, and it would be some girl where there was, like, so many benefits to being with the girl. Yeah, I was like, right. Fun. Like my first girl ever, mm-hmm. girlfriend, she was fucking like, she smoked weed. She was like super, super developed. She had big uh, cans. cans. Nice. Uh, and she was uh, very experienced sexually. And I blew it with her. How is she now? I don't know, dude. I haven't seen those, her. Those are the. I remember her like, name, but I can't say it on the podcast. Right. Those are the kind of traits that, like, that's cool in high school, but like, are you going to keep doing that forever? <laughs> like, Hope so, not. <laughs> yeah. So, definitely appeals to the 18 year She was the perfect girlfriend at high school. Okay. I like that. But, See, I, I never even got to that. I would I would convince myself that, you know what? She probably doesn't like me, so I'm not going to ask her out. Let me just hide in my cave. Kind of thing. Well, you can't do stuff like that. Oh, I would always do stuff like that. <laughs> Dude, you got to throw it out there, man. You'd be like, yo. Just whip it out? You, We're you talking about personality, not, not for the that. penis. Well, in both cases, you would you would be you would be you would be surprised at how how well that that tends to work. So I've been told. Like the cheesy pickup line. Not even that. Just whipping it out. <laughs> well, Louis like C.K. didn't really succeed in it. Well, not you know. Oh well, yeah, that's because it was Louis C.K. And no, not in public. Because <laughs> I never I never tried the, the pickup lines, but apparently they work. They only work if the if the girl's already interested. Yeah. 
I'll do them ironically, like as a joke, and they seem to like it. I'll do like the cheesiest ones. Or like, I need a. Do you have a map? Because I keep getting lost in your eyes. Oh, I've never tried that. And I'll do like shit like that. It'll make them laugh just because of how she's. You can make you laugh. Oh, you're you're basically in. If you can make her chuckle a little bit, like God, you have a little opening. That's all you need. Oh, I'm, girls laugh at me all the time. It's never worked. They laugh at your <laughs> penis when you whip it out. You don't need to go there. <laughs> Homo. <laughs> See, now you did it right. <laughs> That's yeah, when you that, put someone down. Good. It's not good because like he's just gonna like. You, you called him a great flirt, and that wasn't a good put down. So I'm putting it down for your life. It's of really not fun putting that down because he just gets in, <laughs> or he just puts you down like fucking like three times worse. Well, no, it's it's true. I I did whip it out once, and the girl laughed, and she fainted because it was so huge. <laughs> they call no. you tripod, right? No, they just call me Mr. Tibbs. <laughs> Mr. Tibbs. <laughs> uh, I thought you're kind of the guy who can lean forward and not fall down. <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure, yeah. I, I, you know, <laughs> my arms do touch the ground. I'm, I'm very chimpanzee like. You wouldn't go into gaming, dating game now? Um, I'll, I, I'm not into the apps, and uh, I go did, on. I did try, I did try the when, when the online thing was was really getting popular many, many, many years ago. At the time, I was looking for a relationship, and I got sex. Lots of it. Nice. Yeah. No, no. Oh, you actually want a relationship? Well, no. I'm just nothing. No, I'm just not very good at sex. I mean, oh. You know, so you know, I'd, I'd always, you know, because I'm like a 80 year old virgin, I had to keep on inventing, you know, reasons for why it's not happening. What were your more creative reasons to to not do it? Uh, that sounds interesting. To me. Let's see. I was on a cleanse. Was one, yeah. Um, another one was uh, uh, I'm doing a uh, a spiritual thing, so I can't I can't release for a while. Religion's a cop out when it comes to no <laughs> sex excuses. Um, uh, I had to make a donation. What? Sperm donation? You going to the sperm bank? One that didn't work at all was I don't find you attractive. That <laughs> was your excuse. <laughs> Doing nothing, flaccid. Yeah, um, I, I, I That's pick, cold blood. Well, like well, she was, she was, she was really cool, and she just, she was super competitive. Right. So, like, when I was like, yeah, it's not, that's, it's, it's not doing it for me. She wasn't really into me either. But at that point, she was like, wait a second, no, 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 no. I cannot be, in, I can, I can be not into you, but you can't not be into me. Oh. And so then she really turned it on, and it got really aggressive. And I was just like, "No, nothing, <laughs> nothing at all." Oh no, I was I was ready to go, but I was like, "No." Oh, I just didn't find her attractive. No, she was hot as hell. You didn't find her emotionally attractive. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now, now I'm starting so to. So why like not it. then? That's a lie. We boned. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I'm a dude, you man. You never, you never hate fucked. <laughs> That's all I do. <laughs> what is hate fucking? Hate fucking is when you lose your self respect and you still have sex with the person you don't want to. Really? That's what hate fucking is? Because you hate your fucking self for doing it. Oh, I thought it was the other one. Oh, where you hate somebody and you fuck them anyway? Yeah. That's that's hard to pull off. How do you how do you have a mutual hate for each other and you still bang it out? Oh, it's yeah. You've done it? Oh, oh yeah. I've yet to yeah, experience I have it. Not. I couldn't do it. I would definitely do it. I'm not high above it. I just haven't had the opportunity. Like, I'm not going to fucking lie to you guys. Oh, I'm way above that. Bullshit. <laughs> no, I just, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll do it. I'm so, okay. So, so you so, don't have to, oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Well, no, 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 I'm not going to say it. Because I'm like, man, that would sound really, really. Well, fuck You're going to be all girly? Yeah. You probably own a cat. Yeah. I, we, I, we always had cats. I don't have a cat here and then. <laughs> so I now just, I want to know what you said. <laughs> No, 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 no. Go ahead. No. <laughs> I'll edit it out if it's really that bad. No. Isn't that <laughs> just like saying that. they'll just be the top, I'll just put the tip in? It was to do just with, the tip. It was to do with having to have an emotional connection with somebody. Did you have an emotional connection with someone? No. I was going to say, I have to have an emotional connection to want to fucking... Oh, I thought... Oh, to have, to have sex with that person. Uh-huh. Can't do emotionless? Can't do one-night stand kind of oh, thing? Oh, really? Really? I mean, I have done the one-night stand thing, but... Uh, well, as long as you're capable. Very few. Know. Very few. Okay. Well, I don't see that as a big deal. You're just picky. It's just like... I'm nothing, man. Are you picky like that? No, I've never had sex. 
I've been lying to you all this time. I've been trying to be one of the guys. And I count sock puppet such sex. A liar. No, don't do that either. Sock puppet? Yeah. You put it in the laundry first, then you do it. Don't you have to put a decent, uh, what, for the static clean? Yeah, static clean, and then a little shocks and makes it way better. Why don't you just shock yourself? That's a different thing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, um, that was... We didn't really even talk about dating that much. Oh, well, right. Dating is no, hard. No, I, I just kind of figured if you're a dude, it uh, it's you got to work. <laughs> that has not changed. the The means of finding the chicks has changed, but the work the guy has to put in. Has so not dating changed. apps not a good way to find a girl that you want to be with. No, I think it's time. probably. It, I I think uh, I think it's probably just fine. Um, I think you can definitely find a relationship on dating apps. And there's a lot of people who, when you actually read the bio, they'll say, I'm looking for a relationship. And some people will just <clears> not put anything. They'll just, and you assume that's a person who just wants to have sex for no reason. I'm swiping right on that. Which I, from all the stuff that I've read, the, 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 the women aren't into. The, uh, meaningless sex? Yeah. They're not into it? They just do it because it's either, it's either do it or get left behind. So they're just like, I don't want to get left behind. So peer pressure kind of a thing or a societal pressure well it's one of those things where I don't know if it's true but the whole thing about like you know guys use love to to get sex and then girls use sex to get love I don't know that sounds interesting and there's probably definitely some truth into that there's well, a majority of guys who just you know fake it till you make it kind of a thing well what do you mean like by fake the love and, and they just want to hit it oh okay well supposedly right now um, yet again I, I was born a little in a weird time because when I was coming up, uh, the ratio between single guys and single girls was like heavily skewed towards the guys. I think it still is. Uh, I think, no, it's, it's supposed to be the other way around now. <laughs> There's like more ladies. I don't feel like that. Maybe because I'm a guy and I don't get that much success. It's because you're not getting out much. Every now and then. Whenever I get out in this neighborhood, because I don't get out much in yeah. this apartment, but in this neighborhood, when I go anywhere, I'm just like, oh my God. There's so many women everywhere. And they're all too young for you. But anyway. <sighs> Thanks, bro. Anytime. I like, I like the low blows. It's good. That's all I got. It's good. Uh, that's all I got. I, I'm not I'm not witty. I'm not good looking. I'm not uh, I'm not wealthy. So all I got is to is my only my only play is to pull is to tear people down. Bring them down to my level. Fabulous. I respect that. So well, mm. thank you for listening. Uh, we didn't really talk about anything, but it was it sure was entertaining to 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 be uh, regaled about dating from Andy. So much so, I'm going to have to ask him a little bit more more probing questions after the uh, podcast is finished. Yeah, I was trying to think of something really cool to say, and my stupid brain just failed me once again. You suck. Yeah, but you swallow. Uh, you can find us on Twitter. Instagram at Lofat Podcast. Uh, you can email us. Please email us. Lofatpodcast at gmail.com or you can just search Lofat Podcast and find us on Stitcher, iTunes, and uh, YouTube or wherever else you pick up your feed. Thank you. <laughs>